Hello my friends and scribes and welcome to the next installment of Banished. Today we are going to start a new town. It is a new dawn, a new morning, and thus a new beginning. So, you know, a lot of times when people play this game, they're just going for the usual goals. 100 population, 300 population, building certain types of buildings. You know what guys, our goals... <laughs> Our goal is much smaller than that. Our goal is to get to 40, 50 population and and just not get killed by one of the following things. Starvation, cold, long distances from the house from to the stockpile, and also fourth and finally, a freaking tornado. <laughs> In the last video we got absolutely decimated by a tornado. Uh, just as our town was picking up, it was looking really good, but Unfortunately, these things happen, so we're going to apply the lessons of all the last videos and we're going to try to make this town as successful as possible. And by new lessons, I mean we're going to try to make our town spread out, but not too far. And we're also going to make stone houses instead of wooden houses because apparently they can survive better than, than, uh, what do you call them? Wood houses. All right. So, Skyline Review. What the hell? <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna call our town the town of Emmanuel because that is in homage of the last survivor of the town of Amelia. He was 22 years old. He was all by himself in the ghost town. All his friends and family died and I think it would only be appropriate to at least name a town after him. So these are the exiles. I don't know, apparently Emmanuel has gone out there. He's found more people and he said, come join me. I am a lone traveler of of Amelia. Join me and we will start anew in the town of Emmanuel. And they just said, okay, we will follow you. And so here we go. This is the story of Emmanuel and the town of Emmanuel. So then, we're going to keep things paused right now. The first things that we're going to do are open up our tab up here and also the jobs tab because these are very important. we got to keep them open at all times. These are our resources. And so the first things that we're going to have to think about doing is building a sustainable economy, a sustainable town. So I mean by getting food supplies sorted out straight away. And let's take a look at this area. We're going to build straight on out to here. And why can they not build around this? There's something blocking. There's something blocking that. I don't, I don't know what it is. Something right there. What is that? Whoops. I just accidentally built a road. Uh, but we're going to build... A gatherer's hut right out into the open over here like so yeah we're gonna build a gatherer's hut just out here and in fact we might actually build two gatherers hut one is gonna be a bit farther away though how about actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna build another gatherer's hut on the other side of this river okay so then the barn is gonna be like midway between the, the places. Okay, so that's what we shall do. And we'll build the bridge just along here. Wait, hold on. Just along here. Bridge will go across the way. And we won't build the gatherer hut yet. Because we're just going to wait till that bridge is done. We're also going to build a hunter's lodge as well. A hunting cabin. And he shall do the hunting. He shall do the hunting. So we'll keep it... Oh, it's hard to say exactly. Let's build it more on out in the in the wilderness area. So maybe something around here. What do you guys think? Well, there's something blocking our path. Well, where's the road? The road is just around here. So if we build around it, just like that. Yeah, just like that. That'll be okay. And yeah, let's get started here. So we're gonna keep it on one time speed for now, and we will build some. Forester's Lodge as well because without wood there is no way that we will have structures we will not have firewood we need this we need this I need this okay and we'll build this out here as well uh, the Forester's Lodge and we're also gonna need a woodcutter now I'm thinking about building the woodcutter more in a central location so, say, just like next to the stockpile. So that gives them easy access to the stockpile. Yeah, we'll just build it right there, along the road. And so, let's increase the speed up now. To five times. Actually, screw it, let's go ten times. 
I'm going to start clearing out all the resources possible. All the resources, all of them, literally all of the resources in this area. It's the trees, the iron, the stone, everything. Everything is going down. We're going to build houses just along... Where are we going to build them, actually? That's the question. I'm going to build them along the road here. But we kind of want to keep things spread out because if, <laughs> in case we get a hit by a tornado, and yes, we are already thinking about the chance of being hit by a tornado then hopefully it won't be like a heat-seeking tornado and just rip right through like all the vital important places of our town well I mean everything does look a bit compacted if a tornado went from left to right it would just strike and kill everything but tis the way of things at the moment so let's pause the stone houses and let's just get our infrastructure down right now everyone is homeless we've got 19 people that is the way of things and we need to get some builders as well. So let's get like five builders going. Because I notice what happens is when you b try to build houses or you're trying to build things and then you have houses on the build, they'll always build the house first. It's just like, they're, they're always like, huh, we need warmth. We need houses to be lazy in. If I say no to that, I say you guys should build, get, build stuff that can sustain you. Food and wood. That is what you need. So I'm building two things, two uh, sources of food right now, because one isn't enough for a population of 20. It just isn't. And uh, we're getting lots and lots of foodsmen straight away. Lots and lots of foodsmen. Okay, and now we'll unpause the creation of these stone houses. So go ahead, peoples. You can start building your freaking stone houses now. And uh, so the hunting cabin is ready. Forster's Lodge, we'll put one dude in. And actually, we might take away one from the hunting cabin and put one into the woodcutter. Because we don't have a lot of population this time. Sometimes when you start a new map, you get like loads. But we only got like 19. As I said, this is the land of Emmanuel. The town of Emmanuel. He had to go around searching for, for people to join his cause. And you could only find 18 other people. And some of them included children. I don't know, the children were so persuaded by his, his talk. Yeah, that's just what happened. So anyway, we're going to increase our fuel limit to 500, because sometimes we have run out of firewood, and that's what not what you want to happen. So at least we got a bit of leverage with these things. So anyway, we're going to have to get more stone, because our stone houses are going to just cost a boatload. And uh, the bridge is done. The bridge is done. Now we can build across. Who will be the pioneers over to the other side? That is the question. Who will be the pioneers? Well, anyway, let's build another gatherer. And they shall be down here. Along the line. There we go. Gatherer will be all the way down there. And when are you guys going to build houses? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys are always so desperate to build houses, but now you don't want to build houses. Ah, it's because you need stone. Oh my gosh, maybe we should have just built like log cabins first. That's the impression I'm getting. Maybe we should just build cabins. I, I I think stone houses can actually be destroyed by tornadoes, but I think the occurrence of it happening is a lot less. So now that we have that sustainable everything, we're also gonna have to think about building a herbalist. Because we need health. And without health, we have dying people. And that is kind of what happens a lot of times in our civilization. So that's not what we want to do. And we're going to build it all the way out in the old forest here. All the way in the old forest, the herbalist. Yeah, that's what I think. Look at these migrating deer. They can cross rivers. It's so crazy. They don't even swim across it. They just walk right across. Freaking Jesus deer. Anyway, we need to build more... We need more stone, please. But I think everyone's just still clearing out all the trees. I guess we need it, but we kind of need houses, no? Or else people are going to die of cold. You're all homeless right now. But look at that. They can go through the winter. They can go through blizzards and not even care. They can all be homeless, but it doesn't matter. In fact, I like it like this. When everyone's homeless, there's, it just seems like you got more people in your village. 
Ha. Huh. But look at this. There's only one family in, that has a house. Wow. There must be so much jealousy, so much vying for that house. Anyway, let's pause the construction of one of these houses. Okay, because people are really starting to get cold now. And pretty soon people will start dying. Okay. So we're gonna put this one back on hold, uh, on onto build. And do we have enough iron? We do. Deary me. Deary me, I hope we're gonna have enough... I hope we're gonna have enough stone. I hope we don't have to build like... Oh gosh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want the homeless to die in the cold. Please don't. Please don't. Anyway, let's build a... Uh, get more foresters going here. And we're gonna increase the hunting cabin. Peoples. We're starting to run out. I don't know if the gatherers are gonna have enough like berries to pick because it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot to pick from. Now our stockpile is full, which is like surprising. I mean, how, how many times have we ever had a full stockpile? Like never. We're just gonna build it all the way across to here with a road connecting. There we go. And so we have space. But now we need to build up this house. Come on, it can't be full. We've got another stockpile. And bossy brew. Or is that like the barn or something? No, it's not the barn. Okay, so that house is being built. And now what we're going to do is start building on the opposite side with houses. Okay. There we go. We're going to build on the opposite side because we're keeping everything separated, but hopefully not too separated. Ah, forgot to build a road over here. Okay, it looks like there's a slight incline. There's a slight incline over here. Because of this small hill, it's impossible... It's impossible <laughs> to build over it. This slight little tiny hill. Little tiny gap. It's impossible to build over it. Unfortunately. Our citizens are not up for the challenge. That is just too much. Too much effort. Okay, so I think we're going to have to harvest more stone and iron and whatnot. We're just going to clear out this entire area of stone and iron as well. All the stone and iron possible. I know it's full. I know it's full. How can it be full? We've got another stockpile here. Come on, guys. It can't be full. Near capacity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Near capacity. Near capacity. My butt. Now what's going on here? Our log limit is too high. Rubbish! Our log limit can go up to many. 500. <laughs> is that why they have not been cutting down trees? I see. We have lazy people here. Now we're gonna pause work on these houses. It's a lot of micromanagement this is. We're gonna just do one, one house at a time. So we gotta remove the logs, the trees, which has been done. We gotta transport the logs. And yada yada yada. Okay. And so the next thing that we're gonna build after this is a marketplace. And we're gonna build the market just along here. Okay. Because this is gonna be like our midway point to everything. From the resources there to the resources over here. It's gonna be our midway point. And in fact, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna build a barn down over here. We're gonna build a barn down over here. So this this, guy, this gives these guys a much smaller journey. The people of Emmanuel don't have to go all the way down to this storage barn. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. But this house needs to be completed first, thank you. Okay. It's all coming together. Our food supply is high. What, firewood supply is high. Everything is high. We are high. This is great. This is looking out, out to be really good, actually. Everything is working to our favor. Our children are increasing. Everything is increasing. And we'll free up two houses. So go ahead, Kreblians of Emmanuel. Go, go make your stone house. Increase your family size. And so we're into autumn of the second year in the town of Emmanuel. Things are going good so far. Gatherer's hut. They're going away. 
away at it. Hunting cabin, they're going away at it. Another gatherer's hut over here. We've got a lot of gatherers, don't we? That's what- okay, that's what we need. In fact, I think we need to actually increase our foresters. Because it seems like we're running out of logs. That's okay, our limit's high, so they know what kind of goals they should try to achieve. 500 logs, at least. Thank you. Okay. And I think we'll build another forester on this side over here. Because this is part of a sustainable economy, we need these things. And we shall build the forester just over here, I think. Yeah, we'll build the forester over here. Put one person into the herbalist. And then we're going to also build a stockpile. Just on the side. Actually, we'll build a stockpile just behind it, I think. Actually, it look, looked like we couldn't build a stockpile there for some reason. Yeah, it looked like we can't build a stockpile there. Oh well. Build a stockpile just at the back over here, and it's going to be a massive stockpile. Massive one. I'm talking like that big. That's going to cover the entire area. This is going to be... This is going to be the stockpile of this side of the island. So, everything is nice and separated, but we're going to have this marketplace to keep everything close intact. So if a tornado hits, it destroys one town, hopefully the other town will still be sustainable. This is future-proofing this place. That's what we're trying to do here. I'm trying to make this place future-proof. So I think we're going to run out of iron. Uh, so I'm going to har harvest all the iron in this area. I think we might have to build... Actually, no, we've got more iron over there. We just need more children right now. We'll unpause this stone house so we can start increasing our family sizes. And now, question is, what is taking so long? I guess we got a lot of things to build at the moment, don't we? But what I'm happy about is just all these resources are relatively high. Actually, our food seems a bit low. It seems like it's going lower, so we're going to put one more into the hunting cabin. So you can never get enough hunting. In actual fact, I think we might actually increase our gatherer and put down the hunting. Because we've got this gathering hut all the way out here. We might as well just use it. Okay. And there we go. What are we low of? We're low of iron, but... See, that's the thing. We want to build... We need laborers to get rid of the resources and... Hold on, we'll actually increase our laborers, decrease the amount of builders. We need we need laborers to move the resources around, as in get rid of the trees, clear the area, move the resources from the, the store stockpile over to the building area. But at the same time, they also need to like harvest the stuff out in the open over here. I mean it's such a there's so much so much to do, so many tasks. We don't have enough people. We need more people. And look at these guys go. They're just dropping off the berries here. Look at the deer. These are friendly deer. Ha! <laughs> Did you see that? These are friendly deer. The deer chose to eat the grass rather than the berries. Well done, deer. They've been taught well. Look at this little baby deer. Oh. Oh. Little baby deer. <laughs> Bambi. Bambi and mom Bambi. Alright. Okay, so it seems like our population is going up. We got lots more kids. But it's still not enough. We need more houses. Okay, so let's just build roads around this marketplace over here. Right on around the marketplace. Like so. And then we'll build this up and over around the area. Okay, good. Good, good, good. It seems like everything is going quite well. Herbalist is going at it. And we're going to increase the herbs up. So you say 200. Food supply is okay. Yeah, everything seems fine. We just got to get the storage barn down. And there's actually a lot of things that we need to build. Yeah, there's a lot of things that we need to build. In fact, let's put this marketplace on hold right now. Because it's going to take a lot of resources. We're going to focus on the other things. Like the storage barn. And our firewood limit has been reached. Let's increase it actually up to... 700. Just in case. Always just in case. Screw it, let's take it up to a thousand. A thousand can never hurt. A thousand firewood. That will give this guy a job that will last a long time. Anyway, we should have another uh, 
not a storage barn, but another forester somewhere around here, shouldn't we? Yeah, Forester's Lodge, right there. See, we're short of people that are, can be like... Damn it! I think there's just so much to do, like harvest, harvest resources, and then move resources around. Yeah, there's just so much to do right at the moment. We don't have the stockpile properly set up here. So, I think what's going on is they have to transport all the resources from here to over here. And it's just taking absolute ages to do it. But as soon as this storage and this stockpile is down, it should be a lot quicker, I imagine. To get things done. But all is seeming well. All is well. Right now. Now, what I'm going to start doing is actually building another bridge over to the opposite side over there. In anticipation that we might need the resources sooner or later. I know we're not going to need it anytime soon, but you never know, sooner or later. We're just going to build it around here. And what are we going to do? Build it along the longest length? Yes! This shall be a grand bridge! It shall be grander than the Golden Gate itself. Take a look at that. It's going right on across. Imagine if you could get floods. Or like a tidal surge and that ripped all the bridges. Oh gosh, that would be terrible! I bet you this game is eventually going to do something like that. Well, and there is so much rain that the rivers overflow. They seep into your areas. But as, as far as I know, that can't happen. I know there can be fires, there can be disease. All of which hasn't happened yet, thankfully. But... I'm saying that now. Chances are something like it's going to happen. So what are we running on low? Oh, tools. Crap, we have totally forgot about tools. We're going to have to build uh, a blacksmith for that. And we're going to build the blacksmith over here. What do you guys think? So he'll be near the resources. But then again, he, <laughs> it's kind of out in the open, isn't it? We don't want a tornado to come ripping through everything. So we're going to build this out over here. Big square. Like so. And then we're going to build the blacksmith out here on this side, I think. Yeah, we'll build the blacksmith out here. Okay. Yeah, we'll build the blacksmith out here. And see, so we've still got our separation, but things are relatively near each other, aren't they? It's going good. It's going good. I'm happy with things so far. Marketplace is on hold because that's going to take a long time to get anything done. And see, look at this. He's like, I don't know what to do. I don't have a tool. The citizen's tool is broken. Oh, what a tool. What a tool. What a world we live in when there is no tools. So, in fact, I think we're going to pause construction on, like, everything and just get tools going. Yeah. I'm gonna have to put uh, everything on hold. Mm, apart from maybe the stockpile? Yeah, we're gonna put the stockpile- Oh, you can't even put the stockpile on hold. It's impossible. Alright, fair enough. So we're gonna just uh, build the blacksmith straight away because we're gonna need tools. We really don't want people with broken tools. Like, look at this. Oh. Like, the gatherer's running- Oh gosh, this could be really bad. The gatherer needs tools, because apparently using your hands is not enough. Uh-oh. I didn't foresee this coming. Oh dear. If we don't have tools, we cannot gather, we cannot chop wood. This isn't good. So does that mean they can keep- Look, he's still going! His tools are broken, but he's still going. Maybe he just out by- he goes a lot slower, I don't know. That might be it. He might just be going slower. Come on, guys. Please, somebody. Okay, you know what? How about this? How about we cancel... Remove structures. Cancel removal of all the stuff. Okay, just who cares? Who cares? Cancel the removal of this. Just focus on your job at hand. Focus on building the blacksmith. We need it. We're running out of tools. Tools are becoming desperate here. People are going to be fighting for the tools. Hey. Hey. Or it's going to even go under on, on like the black market. Hey. 
I'll trade you a kidney for your tool. Something of that nature. And I'm just getting worried that, like, maybe they can't do their job if they don't have a tool. I hope that w won't happen. But wow, this blacksmith does take up a lot of resources to make. Okay. I think we're going to have to harvest more trees, actually. Because we've run out of logs completely. We're going to harvest trees in, uh... The area... Where are we going to harvest them from? Just along the coastline, I guess? Yeah, just along the coastline we'll harvest some trees. See, they can still go at it, but maybe they're a lot slower. Than if they had some working tools. Yeah, they're going at it. Uh, they're just... They're just a bunch of complainers. They'll be fine. Aha! And so everyone joins together. The little children. Little children. Henriette, who's one years old. But she is doing a good job. She's playing at the moment, but she was looking at the parents and all the uh, older people. Chopping down trees, because she too, one day, will be a tree, a tree chopper. That will be her job. So, the blacksmith is on the build now. Good. Good, good, good. In fact, we might actually increase the amount of builders so we can get this up faster. Building! Go build! Build the back blacksmith. Build it. Come on, guys. Is nobody able to do it? See, they can do it. You don't need anything. Rick is working. Just pulling it really slowly. But it's okay. We're getting it down. We're getting it down. Our food supplies are incredibly high at the moment. Very high. Uh oh. And they've stopped construction! When did I say you can stop building? Do not stop building. I think they gotta go back home and get food or something. I don't know. But our stockpile here is looking kinda full. Wait. One of them is. The other one's fine. And so the blacksmith is almost done. We have 10 people with broken tools. Not good at all. Not good. The blacksmith's tools are going to be highly in demand. And I think we're going to set the limit to something like 100 tools. Here we go. There we are. And now we just need a blacksmithy. Now let's go on up to 150 tools. Alright, we can't do 100, 100. Maybe we can type it in. Yeah, we can type it in, I think. Let's see what it's like. Yay! We can set... Type it in. Alright, that's cool. So 100 tools maximum. And here he goes. Using logs and iron and logs and iron. Good guy. Good guy. Good guy blacksmith. Alright, let's clear out more areas of trees. And slowly but surely, the tools will come streaming in. But people... <laughs> we're missing more and more tools. 12 people without tools. You know what I'm glad about, though? I'm just glad that you won't die if you don't have tools. You know, we can- we can- we can survive- Oh gosh. Okay. He's not building. Why not? Materials required. Okay, because there's no logs. You know, we can die from the cold, we can die from hunger, but thank- Thank- Thank the, uh, banished god that you can't die from having no tools or else that would just be insane I, I that that would be a completely huge oversight it's all coming together really well blacksmith is finally producing some tools I think over here because it just stopped working or maybe he's just being lazy I don't know it's always a possibility ah look at this you can build different tools stool steel tool if we have Coal. We can actually build build a steel tool. That looks really cool. So are we gonna get any tools any moment now? No? What is he making then? <laughs> we have people with 16 tools missing. But they're still working really efficiently, it seems like. Who needs tools? Oh stop. Stop this. I know. I know it's full, but who cares? We've got other stockpiles, do we not? We've got plenty of stockpiles. Storage barn's gonna go up. Gonna unleash the power of the Forester Lodge. Next. Looking good. So now that we, we can put stuff into this storage barn, we save our journeys. Ah. 
and everything should be sustainable so everyone should get food from here there should be food from here and so this is the town of Emmanuel but it's starting to look like two separate towns oh dear I hope one day they don't break off the uh, bridge and then they start fighting each other that'd be that'd be terrible they started their own sort of civil war against each other but we've also built the Golden Gate Bridge over here. Much grander than the Golden Gate Bridge. Very nice. Forcer's Lodge almost done. And our tools are going down. Yay! The people with broken tools is going down. Hooray! That wasn't hard now, was it? We're going to increase our foresters. To eight. So both of our Forest Lodge are going to be... Well, both of our Forester Lodge are going to be in use. We're also going to increase our Herbalist to 2. And, a, and our population is slowly but surely going up. But we're going to build more houses. We need more. These things just don't end. The supply and the demand. So I think we should build like stone houses right next to the market. Because, I mean... Then they just have easy access. I mean, I would love to be next to a supermarket. And since our place people are so lazy, then why not just build houses right next to that market? Yeah, I like this idea. Good idea, Krebsy. Houses all the, all the way around the market. Looking very nice. And I think eventually, I think what we're going to do is we're going to build a grand plaza just up here. And the main section of our town. Well, I suppose this is sort of looking like our main section. But I'm going to build, like, the government plaza just around here. And, in fact, let's start building it out. Let's start carving it out. It's going to be just along here. Right in the heart and center. Although, I'm sort of thinking that it would look a lot more epic if the, the government building was right here next to the market. But, ah, screw it. It's going to be up here, up north. It's just a short walk across the bridge, over into the other side of Emmanuel, the town of Emmanuel, and then they can just get some food after a little bit of a political debating. Yep, looking good, looking good. Let's increase our herbs up to 300. Okay, so far so good. Everyone's happy. Tools are... Coming in slowly. Logs aren't really doing anything though. And everything is sustainable. This is actually starting to look like a good town. This is starting to look like a good town. Um, but what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to build a quarry. Because I know we have stone all the way around here. But I think it would be nice having a quarry as well. Just so that we wouldn't have to worry about stone in the long run. Now, let's not build this too far away from <coughs> everything else. Let's build it, like, right next to the stockpile. What do you guys think? Right next to the stockpile? Something like, like not too far? Not too far away. Mm, can't build a straight road. Here we go. We'll build the quarry just off the side over here. Yes, we shall build the quarry right next to the stockpile. Making sense. Here we go. The road shall be along this side. Ha ha! There we go. This massive quarry, even so gigantic. Absolutely ginormous. Wow. Definitely shadows everything else. But, uh, looks like we're gonna need more stone as well. So, let's go collect some stone in this area. Luckily, we can gather it from here. It's nice next door, but this is exactly why we need to gather the stone or start making a quarry because we needed to start anticipating that we're going to need stone. There we go. It's coming together. And what about a mine? Can we start thinking about a mine as well? Where can we build a mine? Oh, what a nice location. What a very nice location, actually. We can build the mine right off the side here. Right off the side. This will lead straight into the town. As well. Now where can we build it? We can build it right there. Yes. 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 The mine shall be here. 
<laughs> wow, coming together very nicely. And from the mine, we shall get iron. We should get coal. I think that's where the coal comes from, it's from the uh, mine. At least I would imagine, anyway. Great. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. So, this is being constructed. All the logs are there. Our log supply is up. We've got plenty and plenty and plenty of food. We've got lots of tools coming on in. Don't have a lot of stone. But we're going to be clearing out the area pretty soon of stone. And in fact, this is where all the stone is going. It's going to the stone houses. The stone houses are taking ages to make. Uh-huh. Makes sense. But with lots of houses comes a lot of people. Wow. Now, this is actually looking really good. A tornado, it could destroy one side of our town, and it wouldn't matter. It could rip through the middle, wouldn't matter. It could, well, I mean, I'm saying it wouldn't matter, but it would matter. But it, it'd still be sustainable. It could rip through down here, and we'd still be fine. So this is great. The only thing we might not be okay with is if it comes straight down the middle over here and knocks out all three sections of our town. That would not be good at all. So we've reached a population of 40. Now we're going to start thinking about building some more uh, important buildings for this town, such as schools, hospitals, and whatnot. But that is going to be for the next episode. I can't believe we're actually ending this episode with nothing disastrous happening. This is amazing. Alright guys, until the next one, this is Krebsy, and we'll catch up with the town of Emmanuel soon.